In the latest days of our live spoilers, Xander finds himself wrongly accused of a crime, but Sarah stands by him, determined to clear his name. As tensions rise, Sarah confronts E.J. DeMera to drop the charges against Xander, showcasing her unwavering support. Despite the challenges, Salem's twists and turns promise eventual justice for Xander. Meanwhile, Stefan faces mounting stress as Rafe investigates Harris, casting doubt on Everett's story. Marlena takes charge of Everett's case, delving into his mysterious memory loss, while Tripp comforts Wendy during a tense situation. As the truth slowly unravels, relationships are tested, and revelations shake the foundation of trust. Amidst the chaos, Sarah and Xander's bond deepens, prompting speculation about a hasty wedding. With uncertainty looming, the possibility of a low-key ceremony arises, reflecting the couple's resilience. As alliances shift and secrets surface, Days of Our Lives keeps viewers on the edge of their seats with its compelling drama and unpredictable twists. Stay tuned for more updates on the evolving storylines and the enduring relationships in Salem. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Xander and Sarah's Hasty Marriage After Name Clearing? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Xander Cook has been falsely charged with a crime he did not commit. Even if Xander isn't flawless, he makes an effort to be a better man, and he would never have pursued Harris Michaels to the point of endangering his family's future. Fortunately, Sarah Horton Cook thinks highly of Xander and will be there for him the week of February 26 to March 1st. According to teasers for days, Sarah will try to persuade E.J. DeMera to drop all charges by displaying her furious side. Since Xander has been falsely accused, things appear hopeless right now, but in Salem, things always turn out as they should. Though there may be more difficulties along the road, Xander's record will ultimately be cleansed. What's important to consider is what might occur if Xander's innocence is established. You can bet that after sticking by Sarah through this entire situation, Xander will fall even more in love with her. Similarly, spoilers for days indicate that Sarah will be happy to learn that her belief in Xander and their future together was correct. When this criminal mayhem finally lifts, Xander and Sarah will have the opportunity to start afresh. Is it possible for Sarah and Xander to celebrate their hasty wedding? It would not be shocking if Xander felt appreciative enough to propose once more. However, it has been Sarah who has been pressuring Xander to return to a romantic path lately. Perhaps Sarah will propose to Xander again on days of our lives. Given that Xander and Sarah have experienced a similar scenario in the past, it is possible that they will unexpectedly propose to one another. Whatever the case, it's difficult to see Days making their next wedding an extravagant affair given that Xander and Sarah have already attended a good number of weddings. After all the police turmoil, it would make sense to take a much more low-key approach, which is why Sarah and Xander would decide to elope. Do you support the relationship between Xander and Sarah? Do you believe that Xander and Sarah's current relationship is destined to endure? Keep checking back with us for updates on any quick engagement news that may be forthcoming, as spoilers for Days of Our Lives suggest that Sarah and Xander are ready to make a significant commitment to one another. Stefan gets really stressed up as Rafe questions Harris and doubts start to arise about Everett's story. Today on Days of Our Lives, Tripp tries to comfort a terrified Wendy, Marlena takes over Everett's case and Ava and Stefan respond to Harris waking up in very different ways. Everett tells Stephanie that he wishes he knew what was wrong with him after Kayla checks him out at the hospital. Stephanie is confident her mother will find a solution. Kayla asks Marlena to take up his cause, and she enters the room. According to her, he had a catastrophic brain damage on his CAT scan. Wendy begins to breathe heavily and to pace in the tank by the rail tracks. Trip calms her down till she stops having panic attacks. 
Harris opens his eyes to Rafe in his hospital room. Kayla comes in and gives Harris some direction. She informs him that following his shooting, he was in a coma. Ava joyfully gives a tense Stefan a hug in the lobby after learning the good news about Harris. Stefan disagrees with her assertion that this is the answer to their prayers. Stefan responds that he's only concerned about Clyde's response when Ava asks about his response. Clyde, screw you! Ava shouts. Stefan tries to walk away, but Rafe appears and says that nobody ever leaves. Stephanie assists Everett in telling Marlena everything that transpired with Jada in his hospital room. Even though his fingerprints matched those of Robert Stein, he insisted he had no idea who that person was. Marlena speculates that Everett may have had PTSD, which would account for his memory loss, after learning about his vehicle accident. It's possible that his brain just disabled his memories of being Robert. Everett sheds tears as he questions whether he could truly be the person who treated his wife so horribly. Trip questions Wendy about her early years in an attempt to kill time in the tank. She clarifies that prior to her family moving to India for her father's business, she was born in Hong Kong. She remembers that at first it was difficult to adjust, but she eventually came to appreciate it. She made friends with a lad named Samir, who taught her how to skateboard and go rock climbing. She explains that she was nine years old when he makes fun of her for having her first crush on Samir. In addition, it was far away and a long time ago. Tripp replies that his childhood was largely depressing when Wendy asks about it, and he advises them to stick on the fun stuff. Instead, she requests a humorous anecdote from medical school. Tripp inquires about Wendy once more after a few anecdotes, but she is too terrified to consider anything else. Tripp said he is furious and incensed, but he also believes they will succeed. All he can say is that he is happy that the one he loves the most is with him. She is also appreciative of that. She is also appreciative of his bravery and tough exterior on her behalf, despite his fear. He jokes that you have to fake it until you make it. Kayla informs Ava, Stefan, and Rafe in the hospital lobby that Harris is speaking and that his vital signs are normal. Rafe leaves for his room while Ava gives God praise for Harris's return to them. Stefan looks nervously through the window of Harris's room. There, after meeting someone, Rafe informs Harris he was shot on the loading dock. Ava has been there almost the entire time, Rafe reports, when Harris stares out the window at Stefan and Ava. Regarding Stefan, Harris queries. Yes, he has also been there. Harris peeps thoughtfully off. Marlena cautions them against getting ahead of themselves in Everett's hospital room. They're continuing doing data collection. She wishes to request from Seattle the medical records of Robert and Everett. With Everett's approval, Marlena departs. Everett affirms to Stephanie that he has never met Robert Stein. She is unsure about whom to trust. He wants her to think that she is loved and that he would never do her any harm. She advises them to wait and find out from the medical professionals. Does Everett have a brain tumor? He wonders. She makes the point that the CAT scan would have revealed it. He's not sure if he can be by himself at this time. She says she will support him. Everett later signs documents granting access to his medical records. Marlena asks whether someone could help them with the missing information. Everett recommends his friend, a reporter in Seattle, and his former editor. Marlena suggests that he give her a call if speaking with them sets off something. They ought to begin meetings as soon as possible as well. He asks her whether she believes he'll be able to retrieve the memories his brain erased after realizing she's a doctor. Though she can't promise it, isn't it what they're all praying for? Although Wendy and Tripp are certain that someone is looking for them, they find it hard to believe that someone would search the old brewery near the airport. Wendy says that leaving is the only option. 
They have a sudden surge of confidence and think they can pull this off. All they need is a plan, a la MacGyver. Ava asks Stefan what's causing his restlessness as he attempts to leave the hospital once more. While Stefan is about to tell her what Clyde forced him to do, Rafe enters Harris's room. Telling them that Harris does not know who shot him. Ava puts her palm on the glass at the window of Harris's room. Their eyes meet tenderly. After discussing Everett, Kayla and Marlena decide that there isn't a clear cause for the memory loss. Kayla questions whether he's playing amnesiac. Everett receives a call in his room telling him to report straight to the police station. In order to record a message for Tripp's mother, Officer Goldman goes inside the beer tank. Wendy threatens to throw him a tablet and script if he doesn't comply. On Days of Our Lives, Paulina's family gets unfortunate news, and Chad finds out about Bobby. On Days of Our Lives, Paulina's family gets unfortunate news, and Chad finds out about Bobby. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.